Hi friends and CNC freaks this is another tutorial here on Linux CNC this time we will do a geek code with internal cutter radius compensation inside the geek code not using the tool table the tool table is here on the side here this is the tool table uh, I'm in Germany Sorry, I didn't change to the English language, but we will make it that way. First, this is a simulation machine. I will start the machine, reference the machine. So, and I will show you what we're going to do. First, we will load one of the example we are now going to produce. This is just a square, 2 inch by 2 inch, and it has a roughing. Uh, let's say go it this way. It has a roughing pass, the second roughing pass, a uh, more safe pass, and then the finish pass, as you see here. So the G code is here down. I will move this a little up so we can see a little more of the G code. And it's on G10. This tutorial, this is. Here are the offsets for each pass and as it works I have here the key code that's down there. Let's change it here to R5. So 5 millimeter offset this will change. Save it and here uh, file reload and you see it changed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 millimeters so you have your tool table inside the geek code. What is good for, you can walk faster and if you have a tool changer maybe with all the tools inside, I will now load the tool table. On the tool table you see here, it's a seven millimeter cutter. The, the diameters are totally different to this one here we used and so it's for better work and maybe tools that are not in inside your cabinet or whatever. So let's start over. I will just delete it and go sentence by sentence to this value here. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, I will. I will delete it it's the better way to do it so you see what's going on so we're in Germany we use G17 for the standard ISO coordinate system XYZ with a vertical mill and uh, as I'm in Germany I work in millimeters G21 we use the first coordinate system G54 and we work with absolute coordinates uh, exact stop mode G61 so now absolute mode G90 we disable our cutter radius compensation G40 and disable also our cycles now the first important one if you want to load a tool you can work without a tool you need to do it here I will show you later why I load T1 M6 and now the tutorial is on G10. L1 means exact to the tool table. P1 means pocket one or tool one. Then we have a Z offset, Z0 and a radius. Let's move the first tool to five millimeter. So now we just copy this on four tools we were going to use pocket 2, pocket 3 and pocket 4 and we go here to let's say 3.5 millimeters we go here to 3.0 uh, 0.5 millimeters yes that's good and the final cutter maybe has 2.99 millimeters on the radius so let's say we uh, uh, spindle speed 
and let's start the speed also okay it doesn't matter if here or no so now we're going to the start point of our pocket and let's say g0 minus x minus 5 y minus 5 you need to go there mm, this is a search value or it has been inside the search no so why is it uh, sometimes things gonna happen here uh, I move to the left down corner here this is my start point it should be greater than the, the R's you're gonna use so let's use one millimeter more this is the corner we're gonna use we go to uh, go to G0 set set 2 down a little bit now move to G1 set set minus 1 on a certain speed and here's the, our first interrupt with we got we have a cheese mill so we move upwards clockwise no counterclockwise and uh, on G42 right of the pass with d1 the d1 is this number i will now tell you if you go this with the tool uh, command beyond our cutter radius access here it will use the tool table inside axis inside linux cnc so you have if you want to load the tool you need to load it before accessing to the tool table inside the geek code okay there we are now let's do if as we want to go four times around let's do a subroutine it's o 100 sub i like to close it as i make it up so i don't miss the close and sub and there we are within our G code. So let's start with G1. Moving first upwards to Y0. Go, uh, uh, let's say F400. Go in X50, Y50 x0 and y minus 5 so we end up where we started and now g0 set 5 millimeters and g40 for our cutter radius compensation off this is inside our subroutine and now let's call the subroutine 0100 call let's make it finish with G 0 set 20 millimeters upwards and M2 for closing our geek code now save it and let's reload so you see we only have one pass in sight and it's one two three four five millimeters offset as i said if you're going to let's say stream copy get it down here and move our tool call down there safe and now reload you see it's jumping inside we had seven point five millimeters seven millimeters one two three point five so it's using the tool table of the original the original tool table so you need if you need to call it you can also just delete it save and reload so it now jumps back of course there's no tool loaded uh, as i uh, let's move it up here no tool here it says and if I move the tool up here T1 M6 save it and reload it 
it should say tool number one okay only if it started so you you need to believe it it's inside to, uh, can I get it run yes now it's tool number one the offset and it's working that way so go back uh, move the tool on the side so we don't see it clean up our screen and now back to our G code as we want to make four passes so move back to our standard file here you see here just copy this up string copy go down to the last call here down get it in uh, now I have a problem with moving up I will take some inputs here some lines so here D2 diameter 2 our second uh, radius compensation and O100 call so save it and reload and you see you have a second pass inside now just copy it over now we have all here clear string copy string we uh, yeah string V input and search our set thing and go on reload it and you see it's moving in and I will do without seeing uh, no we can't see it here as you see it's it's just copy copy uh, past and our last one it's four inside here yes now we have one up there it's two three and four so uh, did I save it save and reload and now we have four passes inside you see here it's double it's just uh, some uh, tens so and now you can change just your geeko here let's say here 4.5 to see if as you as you see the effect here reloaded and it jumps in and what gives you the benefit is you go down here the last one is maybe the one you need to recall just go to the uh, here and this one here go to this line and restart from here and you see it will move inside the first access Did I? it should call for moves inside here so I hope I could help you if you need information just give us a hint on our IRC channel internet relay chat we will help you right away there are 130 people inside there it's on the server free note internet relay chat as I said and the uh, channel name is Linux CNC you can get help right away and as I said here it's just easy how to decode bye for the next time see you have a non-breaking bit day non-bit breaking day bye to the next tutorial